to my channel. So I have a new setup behind me. I really wanted to like show my chandelier in it because I have a chandelier that I've had since last year, but I am just now debuting it. But anyway, I posted a picture of this look on Instagram, not on Instagram, on, I did post on Instagram, but I posted this picture of Kendall Jenner on Twitter and I, okay, I saw this. I think it was side by Harouche that did her makeup and I was like, it was the prettiest makeup I've ever seen on Kendall. Like it was absolutely stunning. Kendall is a supermodel, so. Obviously she looks good in everything, but this literally blew me away. I put my back to school tutorial on hold because I had to do this. So that will come next week. I'll do a back to school tutorial. And for that, do you guys want like a middle school one and a middle school? Middle school? Yep. Okay. Do you guys want a middle school one and a high school one or just like a back to school all together? Because in middle school, I was not wearing what I wore in high school because this is me in high school. And actually, you know what? I did wear a full face of makeup in middle school because I just always loved makeup. I would literally try and hide it from my mom, but that's an entirely different story. I'm rambling way too much. I'm just very excited to be filming my new setup and talking to you guys because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long, even though I just posted a video last week. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to stop talking and let's get on to the video. So first thing is first I have to tie my hair back or I guess clip it back and now I'm ready to begin with a face primer and this is the Jouer Matte Face Primer and I used a little bit too much but I just put this where my makeup tends to crease and also don't forget your neck, you know, you always put makeup there. Also, makeup is fun so kind of make it an experience and honestly just applying lip balm with a brush makes a huge difference and it feels like you're getting your makeup done and it's very enjoyable. So now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows but I realized that I had one to tweeze. So I'm going to very sloppily, literally slap this product into my eyebrows but I did switch to a smaller brush because it was a little bit too rough and if you guys can tell I'm brushing all the product forward to make it nice and sloppy but then I go in and carve it out but as you can see this concealer was kind of you know out of product but don't worry I found another one so I just went in and carved out the brows and then I also use concealer to prime my eyes and I love it a lot more than eye primer so if you guys you know don't want to spend my own eye primer, but you have concealer and translucent powder, you're good to go. Just make sure you guys set it with the powder or else it might crease on you throughout the day. It does on me, but if I set it with the powder, it doesn't. Gonna go in with a white eyeshadow base. This is the NYX eyeshadow base in white. And I'm putting this underneath my brow and on my lid and on my inner corner and a little bit under my lower lash line because we're using a ton of bright colors today so this really will just help it pop that much more. I'm using this CoverGirl palette. I'm gonna have all the products listed down below but I'm gonna take this light shade first. I absolutely love this palette, you guys. It is so great for beginners. It's so great for every day. And just has the perfect colors. So what I'm going to do with this is put this on the inner corner and under the brow bone. Now Kendall did have a little bit of crease definition, but as you guys can see, having the light in between the you know natural skin color does give you a natural crease, which is kind of like strobing when you think about it. But I'm going in with a crease shade again because I'm just so unnecessary. Like you don't have to do this. I'm just so annoying when I do makeup. So I'm just putting this in my crease and then blending it out um, honestly like I said you don't have to do this I'm just really annoying when I do my makeup and I like love wearing makeup so I just put on as much as I can because I just, I literally enjoy every second of it so I'm also gonna go back in with two more crease colors literally I'm so unnecessary you don't have to do this and I'm just putting this on my crease and then going back in with that light shade and really filling in the inner portion of the eye to lighten that up and then just keep the outer corner pretty dark because the crease color did go in a little bit farther than I wanted. Now I'm gonna be tight lining my eyes with the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in zero and tight line my eyes. Make sure you don't pop your contacts out. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I love you. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with a gel liner. This has been my favorite lately. It's the Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in the shade Black Ink. And this is only to add a little bit of definition to my lids and I'm only keeping that to the outer half of my lash line. Going in, 
curling the lashes. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara. And who else does this all the time? I do it all the time. It's such a bad habit. Okay, but I do have to be real. I was rushing through my eyes so that I could try out this foundation. It's the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. I was so excited to try it. So what I'm doing is I'm using two shades to highlight my face. While I was doing the foundation, I realized that the more I looked at the picture, it was strobing that Kendall was doing. It wasn't so much contouring. So I kind of stopped on the heavy contour that I was planning on doing and I focused a little bit more on strobing. If you guys want me to do an in-depth video about strobing, let me know. But overall, I absolutely loved these foundations and I do wanna say that I just put the darker foundation on the outer portions of my face and did you know sweeping motions towards the center of my face to blend it in. Now I'm going in with a lighter concealer. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This made such a difference. Like after this step, you can see for the rest of the tutorial, I was really feeling myself. Like I felt like a million bucks after I did this step. So I think I'm gonna do this every day now, honestly, because I feel amazing. And you know what? When you feel that good, embrace it, girl. That is what makeup should give you. It should give you the confidence to go out in the world and just feel awesome. And you know, you should also feel awesome without makeup on, but I don't, I don't know. I just felt amazing, 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 amazing with this highlight from my concealer. And then of course I'm just setting it with the Laura Mercier Secret Eye Brightening Powder on any places that I highlighted with the concealer. And then I'm gonna go in and set the rest of my foundation with a translucent powder. And that was kind of unnecessary because like I said, I just do unnecessary things. But now I'm gonna go in with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and just go around the edges where I put the darker foundation on the edges of my face to really just illuminate the center of my face and shrink up the sides of my face. You guys can really, really see that I'm feeling myself. Look at that. Now I'm gonna go in with a blush, and this is Dame by MAC. No, it's not. It's Well Dressed by MAC. Dame is like the exact same thing. She had a lot of blush on. So I'm packing on a lot of blush, and again, because I'm so unnecessary, I put on another blush that was a little shimmery just on the apples. This is the Hourglass Ambient Highlighting Palette, and I'm using the shade in the middle, which is called Incandescent Light, and I'm using a flat-topped brush to apply this to my cheekbones. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love, love, love this highlight. I put it on my nose, I put it on my chin, keep it bow, cheeks, literally anywhere except in between my eyebrows because she didn't have it there. Yeah, I'm taking a few selfies. I told you, I was feeling my makeup. I was loving it. I couldn't get my palette open, but I also decided that the eyes weren't as bright as I wanted them to be. So I went in with Floof by MAC and put this on the inner corner and inner lids of my eyes. And that really gave me the pop that I was looking for. Now I was set, I was sold on the look. So I'm gonna go in and rim my eyes with the um, what is this? Fascinating by MAC. It's an eye pull, and then I just go in with my mascara on my lower lashes, and this is the Tarte Smart Amazonian Clay. I'm only using this because it's running out, so it's not too wet on my lower lashes, so the formulation is great. Moving right along to lips, I'm going to, <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to take off the foundation that I had on the lips, but I rubbed them off a little bit. I kept it on though because it was also kind of like a nice base. But anyway, this is Boldly Bare by MAC. And if you guys can see, I'm lining my lips and then I'm also dragging the lip liner in, but I'm not filling my lips in. It will just help blend the look and kind of give it a larger, fuller contoured effect. And then to highlight the Cupid's bow, I'm going in with a white eyeliner on my Cupid's bow and blending that out to make my lips look bigger. This is Myth by MAC. I swear this is what Kendall is wearing in the picture. It looks exactly the same, so I think I got it. And then I'm going in with a lip gloss, and this is why I love the look, because lately it's all about matte, 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 you know, matte lips. But this was super, super glossy, so you know, you know I went to town on this. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you all enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you guys recreate this look, be sure to tweet it to me. I absolutely love seeing all of your recreations, and I do want to start like reposting some of your guys' because I think that's really, really cool. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, if you guys ever want to follow my Instagram or my Twitter or my Snapchat, they're all always linked down below. I know not many of you guys are still around at this point in the video, but if you are, thank you. So make sure you guys all subscribe, and I'll talk to you in my next video.